Wow, fuck you me. Are too late. Hell no longer needs that portal to enter this world. The invasion you saw was only the first wave. The Hellgate is capable of sending millions of my children into your world. Soon. The fleet from Earth will be here, and with their ships, we will bring this hell to Earth. This hell to <laughs> yeah, not if I have anything to say about it, Dr. Trigger. And on that note, hey everybody, welcome back to Doom 3 2553. I am your host, Willie B. Coyote, and in the last video, I went to hell. Here's an instant replay. Welcome to hell, motherfucker! <laughs> Before we continue, let's get the self-promotion done right out of the gate. Be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. It helps me grow and hopefully get paid as well. Also, make sure to hit the notification icon so you never miss an upload. And without further ado, let's get into it. Right, so, like I said, at, at the in the last video, and I have to get my weapons again. Let's see, I've got my SMG, assault rifle, and I got some med kits, so... Um, we're back in the Delta Complex. We've got the Soul Cube. But, uh... So, the thing about the Soul Cube is that, uh... And we got our flashlight back. That's nice. Uh, the thing about the Soul Cube in this game is that, uh... You ha in order to actually be able to use it, you have to rack up kills on enemies. Uh, in order for it to become active. And then you use it, it just kills everybody, basically. Die, die, thank you. Reload. Okay. Open bay door. Oh man, not the John Carpenter spider things. Okay, which button is it for the soul cube again? Which button is it? It's been a while since I've gotten this far in Doom 3. I don't know which button it is for the soul cube. Oh, there it is. Anyways, the soul cube basically just kills everybody and, uh... And, uh, pretty much... Uh, it also recharges your health, too, so that's cool. Ugh, I hate those things. God, they just won't stop! Go away! But yeah, as long as you got enemies take as long as you keep taking down enemies, you can keep using the soul cube for as a weapon basically. Better be the last of them. And now I got to kill this guy. Thank you. Take that guy down. And Soul Cube is active again, and now I got my plasma rifle back. Okay. Uh-oh. I got a ladder. Yes, I do. Going up. Source ladders. Gotta love them. Chest plate. Okay, now we just gotta find a way to close the hell portal before all the UNSC ships get here. Here, let's talk to this guy a little present. Yeet! Skip it a button, data! Okay, now we got the shotgun back. That's awesome. This is my boomstick! This is my boomstick! Not going that way. Okay. Oh no! Arch vial! Die, please. Die, die, die. Thank you. And go away, commando, or whatever you're supposed to be. Nope, nope, no, no, no. Come on, come on, come on. Figure out your. <laughs> Eh. 
And we're back, everybody. I may or may not have had a slight skill issue there, but uh, I've got it sorted out now. Uh, let me take a second to quick save before I uh, before I go any further, though. Slight confession: I actually uh, forgot to save after the uh, last video. I forgot to save my progress, so I actually had to go through that last boss fight again because I'm a complete and utter incompetent fool. You don't say. You don't say. You don't say! Who was it? He didn't say. Come on, don't kill me, please. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Thank you. So cute. Thank goodness for that. Okay. Coming up here. Yeet! Get wrecked, loser! Bada bing, bada boom, bada bam. The soul cube is great. Honestly, the soul cube is honestly probably the best weapon in the game behind the BFG. You know? And take down that poor ex marine there. Revenant! Anything up here? Anything interesting down here? No. Okay. Here we go. So, um, a little bit of housekeeping to go through. That's empty. I can't use that. A little bit of housekeeping to go through. Um, I'm... Since we're reaching the end of the Doom 3 and the Quake 4 Let's Plays, I am uh, currently preparing for my next big Let's Play, which of course is going to be my uh, Let's Play of Max Payne. And um, I'm just uh, working on, currently working on the thumbnail art for uh, that first video, and honestly, it's probably the best thumbnail I've made so far. Let's... Hey, Swan, are you okay? Sarge is gone. They've got to him. I don't know how long he's been working against us. Uh, wait, wait, Sarge? You mean Sergeant Kelly? No longer human. Campbell went after him. He's got to be stopped. <coughs> Hell is breaking through in the caverns. If that portal isn't closed before those ships arrive, Earth will be destroyed. Earth. That's what they've always wanted. They were there once. Lost it in the dawn of time. Now it's so close. They can taste it. It's up to you now. <laughs> Take my PDA. It's got what you need. Good luck. Okay. So, Swan's in rough shape. Campbell, the ODST he was with, is going after him. And Sergeant Kelly now, apparently. Uh, is working with Doc Patrugger and his goons. Well, now I just gotta go find, uh, Sergeant Kelly and curb stomp him in the face. How hard can it be? How hard can it be? Don't say that! Before we continue, let's take a quick second to take a look at Swan's PDA. Okay, um... Mars Research Post. Dear Counselor Swan, the board has unanimously approved resolution for a full operations review of the Mars Research Facility. You've been designated as our official representative in this matter, and we suggest full preparation begin today. We expect a complete appraisal of all research developments. Both current and future directions must be brought in line with the board's expectations. We must be able to control Dr. Petruger. That one didn't age quite so well. Yeah, you can't control an evil mad scientist. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's just literally impossible. His extra-dimensional research is a potential risk to the teleportation experimentation, which we cannot afford to... Oh, excuse me. The board considers teleportation the, uh, the UAC's most single most important scientific endeavor and is not willing to jeopardize it, it its dominance in this area of research. Ex anticipate a formal briefing and itinerary in the next few days. Sincerely, UAC Board Chairman. Let's 
Let's see. Councillor Swan, I was pleased to hear of the board's decision to have you investigate the current state of the UAC on Mars. I've become more and more worried about Dr. Petruger's research direction, and my hope is that this intervention will bring some much-needed changes. I've also learned I've been reassigned by Dr. Petruger to a post back on Earth. Although this is disappointing, I do fear for my own safety and sanity if I were to stay here. I hear Oni is breathing down the UAC's neck on this. Oh yeah, Oni, the Office of Naval Intelligence. I have several questions. I hope your intervention won't be too late. I look forward to meeting with you back on Earth once your visit is concluded. Sincerely, Elizabeth McNeil, who, if I recall, was the lady who got turned into a lost soul earlier in the game. Councillor Swan, I've been extremely impatient with the board board today, but the decision for a full operations review is hard for me to stomach. There's no need for you to come to Mars, and there's no need for this review. All I need is more money and more time. The research being conducted here will change mankind in ways no one can imagine. Our research is beginning to yield amazing results, which I cannot allow to be compromised. The developments hints here will make the shielding systems made during the war look insignificant. Don't waste your time coming here, Swan. You will only get in my way and impede the outstanding work we're doing here. <laughs> yeah, right. Bro's just molding, seething, and coping over the fact. Uh, more like suffering and pain awaits you, Petruger. Now, um. Ah, here we are. Um. Anyways, dude was molding, seething, coping over the fact that. The, uh, the board had the absolute gall to question his logic. Ah, here we are. Archvile, time to die. Ah! That's good. That's not so good. Soul cube time. Suck it. Okay. So, as I was saying uh, earlier, I've uh, been working a lot on uh, the thumbnail art for the first video of the Max Plane of the Max Payne Let's Play. And here we go. And um, rem pointers to remember when opening portals downloaded. That could be potentially important. Open bay door. Okay. And here we are, the CPU complex. Click to exit Delta Labs. Three days later. What's happening here? Oh, there's Campbell with his BFG. We gotta catch up to him before, uh, before he finds Sergeant Kelly. He's gonna need our help. Anyways. Imps! Okay. Right. Heavy weapons, I'm gonna need to open that. I will be right back with the power of editing. Uh, so as my, as I snap my fingers. The BBC would like to announce that the next scene is not considered suitable for family viewing. It contains scenes of violence involving people's heads and arms getting chopped off, their ears nailed to trees and their toenails pulled out in slow motion. There are also scenes of naked women with floppy breasts. <laughs> Also, at one point, you can see a pair of buttocks. And there's another bit where I swear you can see everything. And my friend says it's just the way he's holding the spear. <laughs> <laughs> because of the unsuitability of the scene, the BBC will be replacing it with a scene from a repeat of Gardening Club for 1958. And now back to your regularly scheduled program. And a back. I should have the code. It should be 571... And voila, we got our rocket launcher back. That should come in handy. Um, here. Ah, weird winged things. Anyways, um, so I've been working a lot lately on the thumbnail art for the 
Max Payne, the first la Max Payne. I've been working a lot of the, on the thumbnail art for the first Max Payne video. And uh, it's honestly probably the best thumbnail art I've done so far. Go away, bug babies. I hate you. You're the worst enemy archetype in the game. You're just annoying. Spirits be gone from this house. Imp, imp, die, please. Oh, no, no, that's not an imp, that's an arch vial. Oh. Okay. I need to obtain the access codes for lab A. Uh, fuck off. Thank you. Die. Thank you. Oh, find a replacement door panel. In lab A for that, so I've got to, uh... What in God's name is happening here? Like, this... In the immortal words of Red vs. Blue... That doesn't seem physically possible. This doesn't seem physically possible! <laughs> yeah, this doesn't seem physically possible. By the way, rest in peace, Rooster Teeth. Sergeant Kelly's coming over my radio. Something's going on with that guy. Great, more John Carpenter's the head, uh, the thing. Jo I almost said John Carpenter's the head there. I can't speak English. Go away, I hate you. Okay, for worst enemy archetype in the game, it is hands down definitely a tie between the spider head things from John Carpenter's The Thing and uh, and the bug babies. I don't know what either of the enemy archetypes are called in the game, but uh, but uh, yeah, they they suck. They're not fun to fight. They're just annoying. Okay. No, I just came through here. Um. See me. Anyways. Okay. Code 627. Okay. Those cameras are out. Make sure I didn't miss anything. Alright, let's go. Code is 62 for lab A627. Back over the uh, nonsensical defying of the laws of physics here. More annoying spider head monsters from John Carpenter's The Thing. Through to lab A. Six, two, seven, and voila! Whoa, what the hell is happening here? Oh, that is all kinds of ugly. Ah, great. Fuck! Well, that's just awesome. And we are right back at the start of the level again. So I'm going to have to skip over this with the power of editing because I didn't save because I'm an idiot like that. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. So as I snap my fingers. 2,000 years later. Okay, and we're back. Um, I've saved my progress up until this point, And here we go again. Okay, let's figure this out. Come on, fuck to this guy. Jump here. Jump here. There we go. And we made it! Yay! Amazing. Here, let me save again. Because uh, I'm not going to... 
take any chances anymore. Okay. Fuck off! You are by far the worst enemy archetype in the game, and I hate you. You're even worse than the John Carpenter's The Thing Spiderhead monsters. Eat Soul Cube. It's good for you. It's full of calcium and vitamin D. <laughs> Here. Heal up. Gear up. Thank you. Fuck off! Spider bug baby things! Thank you. Okay. Charlie Haskell's PD8. Let's take a look. Okay. Okay. System admin. Mail delivery failure. Failed to deliver R Brody at UACorp.com. STTP module. Domain UACorp.com reports. Host name is unknown. Reporting MTA DNS UACorp.com. So this guy like had a DDoS failure or something that caused his uh his uh thing not to get sent. Okay. Charlie, how you been? I hear things are getting pretty busy over there. Rumors flying that you guys are onto something big. By the way, I left you some goodies in locker 669. Combination is 468. Sorry, I had to take back the... <laughs> what the what did he fuck? Say? Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. I can't remember if that's actually like from the original game or if like Valkyrie, the guy who made the mod, stuck that in. But uh, I don't know. I'll have to ask him because I'm in the same Discord server as him. Okay, um... Right, so I'm gonna be going back the way I came now from the looks of it. And, uh, back through here. It does annoy me sometimes how sometimes in this game weapons will take a whole mag dump. But, uh, you know, that's... Hang on. Let's check the upper floor. That's promising. Oh, no way. I just came back through here. Literally. Skill issues. It's not even really a skill issue. Skill issue to th if you think about it. It's just because I'm a dumbass, you know? Um, Soul Cube, that guy. Go away! I hate you! I hate you! I hate you! Die! you. And now I gotta kill these assholes. Die, please. Thank you. Like, not even... I will say, though, the spider bug monsters are nowhere near half as annoying as Great Now Almost Hell Help, because these freaking... Because they just surround you and, like, swarm you, basically. It's so annoying. Here, let's see if I can find some health. Thank you, there's a health pack here. Thank goodness for that. Nothing here. Okay. 
Okay. Reload. Save real quick. Going up. Well, yeah. Die! Die! I hate you, bites, baby bug things. I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. Now back to your regularly scheduled program. Like, like, if you hear my genuine, genuine, if you're listening to my voice, you can hear my genuine, genuine, heartfelt hatred for the baby bug things. I hate those monsters so much. They are, easy. I've said it before, but I'm going to say it again, and they are the worst enemy archetype in this game, by far. I hate them with a As I was saying before I was rudely interrupted there, those things suck. I hate them. I hate them with a burning and fiery passion. They are the worst enemy archetype in this game by far. It's not even a contest. You suck! I hate you, I hate you! Like, they're not even that satisfying to kill. Like, if you're gonna make an enemy like that, like, at least make them satisfying to kill in-game. Like, come on. Ammo. Uh, let's bring out the boomstick for a little bit. Come back through here. Let them come to me. Grenade! Let's get some health back. Where are you, you little squints? Where are ya? I have nothing to say anymore about those things. They, 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 yeah, honestly. I, I'm not even gonna say anything more about it. It's just, they're so annoying. Bugs. They suck. Okay, here we are. 669. So if I recall correctly, the code should be 4, 6, 8. Okay. Ammo and gear. Ah, here we are. I got the thing I need. So, go away, please. I need to use the soul cube. No, no, come on. Running for it. I'm not stopping for anything here. Nice try. Okay. Frick, 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 frick. 
Come on, come on, come on. I cannot get cornered. Thanks to Jay. Huh, thank goodness I had those bed kits. Going back out the way we came. Here, save real quick. And we are hearing uh, Sergeant Kelly's voice come over a radio, which is definitely not ominous at all. Totally. Completely and utterly. Definitely not at all ominous. Totally not. It's false. No way. Not this time. We created it. Not this time. No. Not this time. It's totally made up. Pure fiction. Okay, here we go. Doors open. Uh, through here. Save progress again, because I don't want to die, and restart again. There is a quick save button in this game, but I forgot it, and I'm too lazy to look it up. Okay. The soul cube is always fun to use. Nothing this way, so we're going this way. CPU lab A. We're going down to the main CPU. Hashtag it do go down. It do go down. Oh! <laughs> oh <don't. laughs> Ooh, okay, that's uh that doesn't look good. Pretty sure that's more than a few OSHA violations right there. Okay. What? I don't even have any words. No. Sarge. Campbell's down. Find him. Oh, gotta find him. My gun. He's got my gun. Oh no. <sighs> And Campbell's dead. Lost the leg, man. I killed that pathetic bodyguard. And now I will kill you. Okay, so now uh, Sergeant Kelly's voice is coming over all demonic, and that's definitely not ominous at all. Totally not. It's fiction. It's fiction. We made it up. We made this one up. It's a made up tale, it's a total fabrication. It never happened. It never happened. This one was invented by a writer. But before I go any further, I'm going to take another minute to save here. Open bay door. Here we go. And into main processing. Let's go. Six and a half hours later. Here we are. Through here. I am waiting for you. Waiting to kill you. Right. Too bad, I'm just gonna kill you and I'm gonna get that BFG. And you can't stop me, dude. I got a rocket launcher, and I'm not afraid to use it. Soul keeps fully charged now too, so that's good. Give me your gun. I need your ammo. Get direct impacted with a rocket launcher. Things draining my health here. Frick, go away! I hate you. Oh, come on. Sk 
skill issue. So, uh, I've just went and checked, and this video is starting to run a little longer than I usually like to have my videos. Um, so, uh, I'm gonna call it off now, and, uh, come back. I'll see you again in two weeks when we go up against Sergeant Kelly, I guess. Uh, thanks to everybody for tuning in. Uh, uh, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe to the channel on your way out. And, uh, be sure to tune in next time. I'll be willing to be... Uh, I can't talk today. Honestly, this has probably been, like, one of my most clumsily recorded videos thus far. Like, ever since, like, the Doom 1 and Doom 2 Let's Plays I did a while back. And, uh... And, uh, yeah. But anyways, uh, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Uh, I've been Willie B. Coyote, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!